you basically it's like a dropper you know like other beauty oils look at oh it broke no hey everyone welcome back to my channel today i am doing something totally different i am starting a new series on my channel called the honest review now i am trying to get an intro and stuff like that for you all basically with these kind of reviews you are going to get a straight up honest review on products whether they were sent to me or not i'm gonna give you all of the tea i guess is what everybody's saying nowadays i'm gonna give you guys I'm gonna tell you everything. So I do have one, two, three products that were sent to me and I have a gripe about one of them, like a major, major, major gripe. Oh my goodness. Um, we'll get to that in a second, but the rest of the products I purchased myself. But like I said, um, regardless of whether something was sent to me or not, this is the honest review and you are gonna get the lowdown on all of these products. Now before I get started, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified of my videos. I know YouTube right now is going through a thing where a lot of us have a lot of viewers but our videos are not getting seen. So please do that, I would kindly appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I don't wanna do a whole lot of editing on this video. I hope I don't have to, but I'm probably gonna have to. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you, oh, I should have looked up the price. Hold on, let me look up the price. Okay, so I looked up the price on this first product that I'm about to show you. Let me tell you, this is so good. Totally worth the money. Yes, of course, there are cheaper alternatives out there, of course, but if you do like luxury high-end products, and I do recommend this because I think it's very, very good. So this first product is by Chanel. Yes, Chanel. This is $52, but you get a lot of product you get 30 grams of product in here that is gonna last you a lifetime. And I actually think for Chanel, $52 is pretty decent for <laughs> Chanel. This is the Poudre Universelle Libra. It is a natural finish loose powder. It does give you a very lightweight coverage while setting your makeup, leaving you matte in the places that are oily and it does minimize pores beautifully. You don't look cakey. It, it helps your makeup to last forever it comes in three different shades translucent one translucent two and translucent three i am in the shade translucent two this stuff i really love especially if you live in a really hot humid uh climate climate especially if you live in a hot humid climate if you live in a place like i do that reaches the triple digits then you are gonna love this stuff. Now, if you do have drier skin, this may not be for you. This is more towards the combination to oily skin types. I'm gonna be very, very honest. I did purchase this myself and I really love it. It's just, ugh, it feels so amazing. It does come with a little powder puff, which I really, really, really love. This is like my third one that I've gone through. It is so super soft and finely milled. It is very beautiful. It doesn't look cakey, it sets it sets everything beautifully. I really love this, you guys. If you are interested in a good setting powder, I know right now there's a big thing with setting powders. I don't know why this one isn't being talked about because some of the other setting powders are around the same price, if not a little bit more expensive. And I really think this is good. And actually, I do have a few friends that have dry skin and they love it as well. It's very nice, it's very satiny look it up get a sample go to a chanel counter i know i hate going to counters too because you feel like they're like vultures and they're gonna attack you but if you really want to try it out i would go try it out at a counter because yeah you know what i'm saying you want to get everything done set it if you want to see if it works before you buy it get samples anywhere you can that's that's the way to go now i'm gonna move into bronzers I love this. I got this last year. I know they just repackaged it. All they did was put rose gold on here, but I got this last year. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in Tantastic. It is totally, totally worth the hype. I bought this. This was not sent to me. Man, if Marc Jacobs ever sent me like product, I think I would roll over and die <laughs> because I really love Marc Jacobs products. 
Oh, it smells amazing. What I love about this shade, Tantastic, is that it goes with so many different skin tones. It really does. It glides on the skin beautifully. It does not look patchy. Um, you can use it to bronze or you can use it to contour with because the shade is just magnificent. It doesn't pull too much orange. It doesn't pull too gray. It's just that perfect happy medium. If you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend you do. It's going to take you a lifetime to get through it. It really is and it has me as well because I have so many other bronzers but this is this is so good so good I I have no words did I tell you how much it was $49 yes $49 but you do get a ton of product a ton of product like I said it's very good looks nice the number one thing that I have to mention about this is that I have acne prone skin and it did not break me out whatsoever, which is great because certain powders do break me out, certain bronzers, certain blushes, this did not. And when I get breakouts, I'll get them right here along my cheek, along my jawline. As you can see, I have one right here. Say hello to my little friend. This did not do that. This is from hormones, but this is so, so good. The next product, I think is totally worth it and I'm gonna tell you why and I'm gonna show you why this is the Natasha Denona sculpt and glow palette I have it in the shade light medium I really 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 love this palette look at that so I don't want to blind you guys but anyways the top row has your cream contour cream highlighters and then the bottom row has your powders let me tell you the shades i haven't used these on top quite yet but i have used the powders on the bottom and let me just say um this powder right here actually is not a highlight powder this one is a setting powder and this one is really nice i've been using this non-stop it has the best undertone for all skin tones it's beautiful this is 89 dollars. you do get a lot of product this highlighter as well is super 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 beautiful it's super natural it's not gonna give you like that bam in your face highlight like this is um but i think this is worth 89 dollars because i have the kevin oquan this is the art of sculpting this is 65 dollars you don't get a lot of product in here this is a great 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 product but you don't get as much as you do in here and then what i also like about this is that it also doesn't leave it doesn't look patchy as well just the powders are so finely milled they go on nicely they don't take off your foundations you know how when you're contouring and you're doing powders and sometimes they just look really patchy and then you find that it's just pulling some of your foundation. I don't know if any of you guys struggle with that, but I do a lot and I love this. I love this a lot, whether you are a professional makeup artist or whether you are just a makeup lover. I have been reaching for this so, 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 so much lately. $89 or 65. I would rather get this and I actually think Kevin O'Quinn is perfect. Their products are great. They're really nice, but I like this a whole lot better. I think the undertone on the sculpting powder is a lot better. This is totally worth the money in my book and I purchased both of these. I do. If you do like something a little bit smaller, more compact, then grab this. The difference between um, this and the Natasha Denona is that you have some eyeshadows on the bottom, which is a plus and they're pretty good size shadows. Um, but I do like the sculpt cream and the highlight cream in this. Like I just need to use a little, little dab and the undertone is perfect on the cream. Just a little dab and you're good to go. But this is great as well. So I thought I would just like mention this, but I wanted to show you that you just get more bang for your buck with Natasha Denona and everybody and their mom complains about her prices. But I think this is a very good price um, compared to something small like this. You pay $65 you're not getting a whole lot of product. I would pay for this, I think I would pay about 52 for this, not 65. And this, totally worth it. The next product that I am going to show you was sent to me by Sol de Janeiro. Hallelujah! All I can say is, you know, 
Okay, I'm like showing y'all my girls here. I'm trying to cover them, but I have something to say about them with this. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. It is pronounced Boom Boom in Portuguese. It is not pronounced Bum Bum. I know a lot of people pronounce it that way, but it is actually pronounced uh, Brazilian Boom Boom Cream because that's how you pronounce it in Portuguese. This stuff is amazing. So the number one ingredient in this, y'all know I'm a licensed esthetician. I don't just talk about skincare for the face, but for the body as well. It does have guarana in it. Oh, my gosh, you have that caffeine. Oh Lord. This stuff is amazing. It helps. It was made to put on your bum, on your bottom, on your boom boom to tighten and firm and lift. And let me tell you, I don't just use it on my bum, on my boom boom. I use it on my girls as well. And I have noticed such a difference. I just feel tighter. I use it here on my decollete and on my boom and on my thighs. I use it there too. I kind of use it all over my top part of my body, my thighs and my bottom. And I have noticed such a difference and you need, it's so thick and luxurious. It smells so tropical. It does have a hint of coconut and oh, I don't know what else, but my husband loves the smell of that. And that's a plus because my husband is very, 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 oh, you can put it on your hands too. I don't know. I just want to like lather my body in it. Oh, it smells so tropical, but it's not like, you know, the sickening, sweet, tropical, like scents, like kind of like the Hawaiian tropics, like oil and stuff. No, it's not like sickening sweet like that. It's just like the perfect scent. And I just like take the littlest amount, especially when you get out of the shower and just whoo, massage it everywhere. Gonna be twerking <laughs> in my video. But anyways, this is great. This is $45 and it will last you a lifetime. They sent this to me three weeks ago three weeks ago and I have not even like made a dent. Let me show you guys. Like it's there. You can see my little dent right there. That's how long it lasts. You need such little amount of this product. I have definitely seen firmness in my boobs and my butt. I ain't gonna lie. Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Oh, get it. And so many of my friends like ask me, have you tried it yet? Have you tried it yet? And I was like, no. It even says on here how cute. It says love it, flaunt it, you got it it is so good you guys it is so hot in my filming room right now it has gotten up to 101 degrees here where i live in el paso texas if you're from el paso texas and you watch my videos now you know we are from the same place but anyways i'm pulling my hair back because it is just <sighs> okay so the next product i'm going to show you i'm reading sorry is the neo elixir weightless beauty oil by kevin o'quan another kevin o'quan product yes 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 and as you can see it does have three different layers so you do have to shake it up before you use it gotta shake it like a polaroid picture shake it shake shake it so you have to shake this up before you use it. And then I do have a gripe. I love this. This is actually the best beauty oil that I have ever used before applying foundation. It is a tri-phase oil. So it is great to prime with, to highlight with, and to hydrate, which is amazing. It does have squalane, which is an amazing oil. It's great for the skin. It mimics our own natural sebum that we produce. So if you have oily skin, dry skin, acneic skin, I think this may work for you because I have very acne prone skin and this didn't break me out. It didn't leave me extra greasy because I do get oily in my tea and on my chin, but I'm dry everywhere else. Everywhere else. I cannot talk today. This worked really well for me. I do have a gripe about it though. Can you guys see that little crack on this part? There's a little crack and I am so upset. They need to change the packaging. So you basically, it's like a dropper, you know, like other beauty oils. Look at, oh, it broke, no. You guys, this broke, holy crap. That, okay, it's $52, look. It just, anyways, I'm just gonna leave it like this. This is the honest review. You guys, I am not gonna edit out stuff like this. It's just so sad. Anyways, this is 
how it looked. Oh my gosh, that I don't even know how it's gonna work now. I guess I guess I'm just gonna squeeze this thing. Anyways, you shake it up, you squeeze it, there, you get your product, and then you apply it before you apply your foundation. I am they need to change the packaging. They need to change this. That is horrible. Like Okay, you guys, I am moving on because that just made me upset. It really, really did. Like, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I'm feeling it, taking it off, it's very, very cheap plastic. I mean, thank God I can still use it, but what the heck, man? So I think I can move on after that catastrophe. I mean, this is a great product. This beauty oil is probably one of the best beauty oils that I have ever used on my face, and I'm not just saying that. But they need to get this fixed. That's all I'm gonna say. I am moving on. The next thing I'm showing you is the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter and it is $39.50. The shade that I have is in Sparkling Pêche. Sparkling Pêche, which is, which is peach in French. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. I have it on today. Look at that. Look at that glow though. I mean, I can just, ooh, you need so little of this product. $39.50, not bad because there are some other highlighters out there that aren't as like high end that are really, really expensive. And I'm like, huh, but this Lancome highlighter. Oh, hallelujah, you'll be highlighted to the gods. Do you see that? Oh my God, I'm gonna look like a, a glowy disco ball, but I don't care because this stuff is the bomb. Look at that, sparkling. Pesh. <gasps> I think this is really great. It's very finely milled. It doesn't have glitter, like, you know, the nasty, like, glitter. Look. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at my face. You guys. Try their highlighters out. They do have other shades, but Sparkling Pesh, I think, is such a great color because it goes well with multiple skin tones. So... This is a winner. This is a keeper. The last product is by Charlotte Tilbury. And you guys already know how much I love the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Browns and Glow. Let's just include this in this video. This is the honest review. This is how much I love it. That I am scraping every little bit that I can out of here. It is that amazing. She does have two different shades. Mine is the original and then they do have a deeper shade for darker skin tones. Thank goodness. She made another one, but I think she needs to come out with more because to be honest with you, just two different palettes is not gonna work for every skin tone, but this is very good. Another thing that I have been loving, this is her Eyes to Mesmerize, and this is in the shade Marie Antoinette. These are cream eyeshadows, and once you put them on, they last all day. They do not go anywhere, and you only need like they're so moussey and beautiful. You only need like the tiniest amount. This is a nice taupey shade. I kind of put it on top of the highlighter, but they are so great and they don't budge. If you are like trying to get ready in a hurry and you want a bomb, like you can do a little bit of contour in the eye with your bronzer side of the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and just do a little contour and then on the lid, do a little bit of pizzazz like this. You can do a simple look, do a cat eye or wing liner, lashes, you're out the door and you will look fierce, freaking fierce, you guys. Love this. That's pretty much it. I wanna show you guys something. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna put this in a wrap video. Not the oil, but the packaging part. I have been using the Benefit Mascara Bad Gal Bang, and I love Benefit. I love so many things from Benefit Cosmetics. But this mascara, even with my falsies on, I wanna show you guys, look at my eyelid. Do you see it? It's kinda of gray. Well, this one's kinda of gray. This one's getting gray. It transfers, and I am so bummed because I love how it makes my regular lashes look when I don't have falsies on. And it also like runs down here. I cannot tell you, I have had to take breaks and go like this because, and fix with concealer. And I love their other mascaras, especially their Their Real Mascara. I love that to death. I don't know why. I've tried every different way. But anyways, 
that's a whole other video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the honest review. I am going to be doing not big reviews on a bunch of products. I'm going to be doing individual reviews with this new series. And like I said, whether a product was sent to me, this was sent to me or not, I'm going to give you guys the lowdown on whether the products are good or not. This is a great oil. The packaging just sucks. Look at, look at this. How do I even fix this? I don't even know if it was glued or what, or I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, cause it just like, see, it just came off and then it's cracked. So it, Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell because my channel is about to get real. It is seriously about to get real. I did not know that that was gonna happen to this. But yeah, there's gonna be some products that I, I don't like. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know? Okay, so this was a high-end video. I just tried a flat iron, two flat irons from a company recently. And both of them did not work. I mean, they work, but they didn't get hot enough. <sighs> Whole other video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.